the whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, everybody, look lively. Look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. Together, all of us. We are gonna need some extra hands on this one. All righty now, folks. On the count of three. One. Three. season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Here they come! Hi, Strawberry! Hi, Strawberry! Glad you 
could make it. Oh, thanks for coming. Come on in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful berry grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder <gasps> and colder and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern because it was important to Wow! Have... They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no Me idea. Either. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Well, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um. Oh. I guess. They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's gotta be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm, no, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry.
Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. Over to strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, yes. oh that's oh. I think Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... Everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry, we have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. I said it, did it. Copy. Girls, who's copying? Girls, who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. On a minute. Oh. oh, oh, now it all makes sense. Now I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting, meeting time. Meeting at the cafe. Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody. Come on over as soon as you can. Tell everybody, anybody. Everybody, important meeting right now. What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. 
We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked. The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right! And I drew one just like it! Hey, me too! So did I! We all did! I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... I accused you all of copying me! When you didn't! Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kinda, sorta, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Come Let's on! Do it. Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give, me another another second. Second. give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you!
We need some grand entertainment. Oh, and not just grand, very grand. I got it! We could give a dance recital. Yeah. I got it! We could juggle! Huh. I mean something big, something everyone will come to see. Something with star power. You want a big star? Get Cherry Jam! Everybody else's. Only the biggest superstar in the whole very bitty world. Hey, why don't we ask her? Ask her what? To sing at the grand opening. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. Yeah, why would the world's biggest music star want to sing for us? I don't know, but could it hurt to ask? So, won't you please consider our request? Signed, your most adoring fan. Incredibly adoring. Incredibly adoring fan. Blueberry Muffin. Well, looks all right to me. Then here it goes. I can't believe I just emailed Cherry Jam. If she even reads it, the biggest music star in the whole world is going to come all the way to Berry Bitty City and perform for us? I don't think so. Yeah, Raspberry's right. She probably gets a million emails a day. Why would she answer ours? 
You guys are not going to believe this. When they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real starshine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <sighs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> of the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot. Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she comes! <laughs> Make way for Cherry Jam! Jam. tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? huh? You mean like a camp out? Exactly. A camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here. Uh, relax and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah. Let's go, girls! Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. 
We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, see you in the morning. <sighs> wow, just what I'd hoped for. Miss Jam? Cherry! Cherry? We brought you a little midnight snack! Cherry? Where could she be? <gasps> oh no! Look! I guess she didn't like it. She didn't like it so much. She'd rather sleep outside. <sighs> we had our chance and we failed. you to give the grand opening's guest star some information first. Guest star? Huh? Surprise! <laughs> Presenting... Cherry Jam! Your Cherry Jam? But you... you... <laughs> so that's why I smelled cherry blossoms when I first met you. Wow, you girls planned this? Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> Here, quick! You don't want her to think we're just plain boring girls, do you? Well, we'll leave you to plan the grand opening. We have something we have to do. Uh, wow! Well, um, here, please, sit down, Buttercup. Um, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. I'm sorry, Strawberry. I didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> I understand. I probably wouldn't have believed you anyway. You look quite different in person. I just dress that way because it's what my fans want. Well, I'm a fan of yours. Oh. But I'm also a fan of people dressing how they like. And I like the way you look right now. And I like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's not really me. <laughs> Not really me either. But don't tell. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Mmm, that was the best sandwich I've ever had. Thanks, but you must have had better ones in Big Berry City. Nope. The best part, too, is being able to just relax without people snapping pictures of me. It's so nice here. Well, can I show you where you're going to perform? Actually, the girls promised to take me out where I can do something I've always wanted to do. Something I never could do in the city with people following me everywhere. What's that? Take a walk all by myself and pick flowers. Oh, yes! Those big hothouse roses are your favorite! I read about it in Very Big Glitz and Glamour magazine. That's something my publicist made up. My real favorite flowers are buttercups. Hmm, uh... <laughs> of course. Does she like them? No. Aww. She doesn't like our flowers, either. She doesn't like them so much. She'd rather settle for ordinary wildflowers. We had our chance, and we failed. Better make sure I can find my way back. If we can't do something to impress her, she'll never come back. Hey! Remember that article in Glitz and Glamour that said her favorite thing to do was have a boomberry pie party? Let's make her one that goes off like fireworks! Good idea. That's sure to leave an incredible impression. Come on, let's go to the cafe and start baking! Oh, she didn't even like the ones she picked. 
She ripped them up. Nothing's good enough for her. Come on, Orange. Yeah, come, come on, 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 on. Did I take? Hello? Help? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Thank you, Cupcake, for rescuing me. Oh, I'm okay. I just lost my voice hollering for help. A Boomberry Pie Party? Oh, no. They can't know that I've lost my voice. They will be so let down if I can't sing for the grand opening. She doesn't like us so much. She didn't even come to her own boomberry pie party. Refills? Anybody? If I have any more tea, I'm gonna float away. Maybe she didn't get our invitation? Maybe she's still in makeup? We better face facts. She knew it wouldn't be as good as she's used to, so she didn't bother. Well, should we? Might as well not let a perfectly good boomberry pie go to waste. <laughs> Put too many boomberries. Oh, failed again. Girls, the cherry gem you keep describing doesn't sound like the girl I met. We just wanted her to be our friend, for her to like us. <laughs> but I guess we're not special enough. I think I have some more towels over at the marketplace. I'll be right back. Disturb getting my superstar beauty rest? <laughs> Jerry, it's me, Strawberry. Can we talk a minute? <gasps> <laughs> so, I called all of you here this morning because Cherry needs your help. She does? Our help? What happened? Is she okay? Yesterday, she lost her voice. Oh, oh terrible! She's got most of it back, but still can't sing her high notes. So I'm to sing the high notes for her. And she wants you to be the musical and singing backup. Really? We get to perform with Cherry Jam? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's something else she wants. Very important. She'd ask you herself, but she needs to rest her voice. Anything! Whatever you she name wants. anything for Cherry what Jam. What is it? Well, all she really wants is to be your friend. But she wants to know if you'll treat her like a friend, not a superstar. Oh. <laughs> My. We really haven't been acting like friends. We've been acting like Bands. Who can help me paint the podium? I will! Let's go! Yeah, where's the Let's get going! Rush. Oh, oh, <laughs> Welcome to the Marketplace Grand Opening! <laughs> this could never have come together without all your help! And now, presenting for your musical enjoyment! <laughs> Cherry Jam and her friends! Wow. 
Check. Barbecue. Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barrack and Bill. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Berrykins get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. Persimmon in the case of the beach burglar, part one. Great! Now, part two. Hmm, let's see here, Patty Persimmon. Ah, there it is. Part three, part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. Aha! Part three! What happened with my very best fruit fashion sunscreen? Hmm, maybe too much wine? Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> Are you okay, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. <laughs> Over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? <gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what's, um... That's Raspberry. Oh. Morning, Raspberry. Morning, Plum. <sighs> is everything gonna go wrong this morning? <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your, uh, pegs? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> oh, no, no, I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? <gasps> Hello, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really give your career a boost. Um... Brrr! Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I have... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. We all know there's no bigger Berry Big Bitty Star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam 
is about to take her vacation at super exclusive, reclusive, elite, very breezy bay resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at very breezy bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies, please tell Mavis why. Very breezy bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere. Bad weather. Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that cherry jam vacations? Oh, well, not at all. Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... Oh, well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... And here is our glorious Berry Bitty Beach. Bertram, with some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to... <laughs> Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra-luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive, reclusive, very breezy bay resort? It's really the happy, home-built, very bitty city resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... <sighs> This isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> Well, Berry Breezy Bay may be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry, where's my little superstar? Quick, under here. <laughs> Cherry, what are you doing here? Shh. Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen Cherry? I can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry, Cherry. <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm. This gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well, that is it! I can't find her! <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Cherry. 
shrink from a challenge. <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery, cherry megastar if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. Hi, Mavis. Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? God! Cut, 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 cut. Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this very breezy bay? Um, but it's not very breezy bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's fine. <laughs> huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back. Relax. <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our... First guest! <laughs> Isn't it, uh... Well, there are no words to describe. <sighs> now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well... Just think, she'll give our resort a great review, and we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great, except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry Jam? <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching crabs! <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Quite a storm, wasn't it? Oh, we have them all the time. Oh, yeah. Along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting, fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis, one maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. <laughs> a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground, new ground. Uh, Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but... Why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry dear, don't wish me safe travels because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Berry Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. Special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing perilous passage island? Oh, hazardous hurricanes. Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino. Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island. Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis, there's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Ah, oh, Twinkles, are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been upfront and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no Perilous Passage Island. <laughs> Perilous pith helmets, that doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. challenge? We, we rise, rise to it. it! Couldn't we 
put the umbrellas together with the fabric from the lizard costumes and make a tent? Yay! We'll have our beach party after all. I'll get the pineapple squares. Hey, what do you know? The rain stopped. Quick, before it starts again. <laughs> Papaya. <laughs>